a lot of a lot of challenges, of course, and they're probably the same for every uh, private bank in the in the uh, Middle East. Uh, it's it's not a secret. Oil prices are affecting our business uh, in, a, in a negative way, but at the same time, uh, you know, ultra high net worth and high net worth clients always they find the. Opportunities even in bad times. So um, I would say that despite the challenges that we're seeing today, private banking business is uh, still flourishing in the, in the region. A lot of opportunities. You know, you have, for example, Qatar, where I am, where I come from, and uh, the preparation for 2022, and all the projects that are going on from the rail to uh, tens of hotels that are being built right now. Uh, yani the whole country is being prepared for uh, this event. And uh, a lot of opportunities are arising, you know, whether in construction or in uh, uh, real estate business, hotel business. It's, you know, currently like, like every uh, country in the region. You know some issues with liquidity uh, but I think going forward especially for Qatar you know uh, given the, the, the projects that are being built right now and uh, what we are prepared what we are preparing for in the next three to four years so uh, I see a lot of a lot of opportunities in the, uh, going forward Yes, of course, of course. Maybe not on the short term, you know, one year, 18 months from now, but I think on the long term, it's, it's promising, yeah, for sure.